Welcome back. We have Lance Matter joining us for the latest edition of Tech Talk. Welcome back to the show, Lance. Same to you. How are you? Not bad. Hopefully Good. snow's done and we yeah. can start barbecue. Let's not talk about it. You don't have to wait for the snow to be gone to barbecue, by the way. You can barbecue all year round in this town. Yeah, I know. That's right. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, and today we're talking about Napoleon barbecues. I don't know a whole lot about these, but it sounds like they're sort of the... Uh, the it's a huge, uh, huge news for Andres because mm. uh, this is our first venture into uh, Napoleon barbecues. Okay. But I had to do a whole bunch of um, basically um, uh, some workshops and a whole bunch of product knowledge and yes. stuff. And it's incredible what, what this company does. And you know what? They make them in Barrie, Ontario. What makes the Napoleon barbecue stand apart? We're going to go to a video in a second. But what, what in your mind? My, my, uh, probably product quality control, um, the way they make the product, and things that they do with the barbecue that you would never think of, that's quite easy to do, but they do it like top notch, like they put an infrared side burner. Mm. So say you don't have to use the whole entire barbecue, right? You could just use a side burner, but if you're really, you know, a steak guy or whatever, you can actually sear the steak. That's mm -hmm. what it's there for, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. BTUs are really high, and then you can lock in the juices if you're mm -hmm. really, you know, a barbecue mm -hmm. enthusiast, right? It's all about locking in the yeah, juices. That's incredible. Should we look and see yeah, what absolutely. this guy's cooking up? So this is showing, like, um, also that they have these uh, neon uh, knobs, mm -hmm. and that tells you if, if it's glowing or not, right? Which is it's kind of cool. What does um, it mean? If it's hot, it's going to glow? Yeah, the light will that. come on, right? Yeah. Um, all their all their grills, when you put the meat on, mm -hmm. they have like a waveguide grill. And what that does is it kind of gives you that restaurant look of, you know, you see all the, the lines of the yes. different types of meats, sure. which is good. But it also cooks each individual piece of meat very evenly, right? So this is the type of barbecue for the master guy that doesn't like to mess around. Yeah, very easy, even easy to build, like 45 minutes, but their stainless steel is incredible. They got good quality control, excellent workmanship. Um, uh, and simple things like on the side there, space saving, mm -hmm. you can fold the side tables down. The Rogue Series. Rogue Series. We have the Rogue Series. That's yes. incredible. Good you, stuff. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that you should set one of these up at uh, Andre's, get the barbecue going, and invite us over. We're, we're going to do that. We already have three there, and we're actually going to have one lit up and good to go. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? They just don't do barbecues, though. They do uh, the fire pits, which I built, about 45 minutes. Really good construction. Fire pits. Nice. Yeah. Um, they also build a whole bunch of um, tabletop barbecues mm -hmm. for outside your patterns if it's really extensive and you're going really hardcore um, outside fireplaces as well and their accessories are incredible what are these accessories are, so this one's kind of cool okay because i would love this actually i'm probably getting this you would never think of this but this is a himalayan salt block wow right does that Someone's, eventually disappear with the no, it stays on it. So the idea is, if you put, seafood would be perfect, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of salting your and seasoning your um, yes, right, you put it on the Himalayan block, and the salt actually comes into the food. This goes on to the barbecue. Yeah, and it never sort of eventually disappears with That's the right. heat. It, it stays intact. Yeah, there's a That's well, there's a little uh, a middle tray, and you sure. put this on top. Okay. But the salt actually cool goes into the. Whether infuses. vegetables or infuses it right into the food. Yes. Delicious. Awesome. I'm getting hungry, right? people. So that's great. Okay, now what's And then that piece there is kind of cool. And it's kind of a simple concept, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we got going on here? Chop block with holes where you can put two salad bowls. So when you finish chopping your food or vegetables and that stuff, mm -hmm. just throw in this hole and it, it dumps into your You're uh, done. salad bowl. They, they come with it. Like, so Comes their with. accessories are really incredible. Mm -hmm. Even, even their. Um, Hardcore, I would say this is probably the gourmet grill cleaning. Look kit. at that. That's yeah. not your regular bristle on no, there. No, no, but that's hardcore. <laughs> it's hardcore, right? It's like um yeah. It's just designed like this because that's what fits their barbecue. Yeah, right exactly, there. right? Yeah. And they have some, you know, they have the generic ones mm -hmm. as well you can buy, but this is strictly for Napoleon. Mm -hmm, and they cool. have the rotisserie grills and they have a rotisserie grill with basket, so you can put French fries in there instead of awesome. uh, deep frying it. Yeah. Just let it go. I think we have three pictures possibly, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. This is our so setup now. This is where you guys are. Yeah. This is actually. Everybody kind of goes. You guys are in the barbecues now? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What's next? It's very exciting, right? Looking so that's good. the uh, more um, luscious brand of the uh, robes. That's the 525. Uh, I like the, the outdoor barbecue pit. pits. And the fire Those pits are, nice. are great, right? Yeah. And then you can put uh, also a windshield on top of it. 
which is a clear coat, yeah. right? Yeah. And you sit around it, and you can put your glasses in there and everything. Summer can be brought to you by this, yeah. uh, the whole I could be uh, getting work. a lot of stuff from my patio. You really could be, yeah. absolutely. But when yeah. is the barbecue better yet at Andres? I would say probably <laughs> next week. <laughs> really? Yeah. We'll be there. Just give us a time and a date. We're going to have some of the stuff at the home show, so it'll be good. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about that. Home show, this of course. Weekend. This weekend, the free home show, and it's yeah. going to be Saturday, Sunday. You guys are going to be there? We will always be there. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, Lance, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Napoleon Barbecue is uh, the latest thing for Andres. If you'd like to check them out, you can certainly do that. They are on Notre Dame, and you can walk in and check it out. Maybe Lance will serve you a steak. It could happen. We're back after a quick break. Teriyaki. Maybe. <laughs>